May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. August 21, 2024 Memorial of St. Pius X, Pope A reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel The word of the Lord came to me, mortal, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy, and say to them, to the shepherds, thus says the Lord God, Ah, you shepherds of Israel who have been feeding yourselves. Should not shepherds feed the sheep? You eat the fat, you clothe yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the sheep. You have not strengthened the weak, you have not healed the sick, you have not bound up the injured, you have not brought back the strayed, you have not sought the lost, but with force and harshness you have ruled them. So they were scattered, because there was no shepherd, and scattered, they became food for all the wild animals. My sheep were scattered, they wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill, my sheep were scattered over all the face of the earth, with no one to search or seek for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord, as I live, says the Lord God, because my sheep have become a prey, and my sheep have become food for all the wild animals, since there was no shepherd, and because my shepherds have not searched for my sheep, but the shepherds have fed themselves, and have not fed my sheep. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord, thus says the Lord God, I am against the shepherds, and I will demand my sheep at their hand, and put a stop to their feeding the sheep, no longer shall the shepherds feed themselves. I will rescue my sheep from their mouths, so that they may not be food for them. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep, and will seek them out. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside still waters, he restores my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable, For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. 
And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong, did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go, I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection These are very generous words spoken by the landowner. As the parable explains, this landowner hired workers for his vineyard early in the morning, and then again at 9 o'clock, noon, 3 o'clock and finally at 5 o'clock. But at the end of the day, he paid them all the same daily wage as if they had all been working since early morning. The ones hired first were upset thinking it was unfair that those who worked just an hour were paid the same wage as they were. But the landowner concludes, I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? God, in his mercy, is generous beyond comprehension. But we, as fallen humans, are constantly examining whether we are getting our fair share and comparing ourselves to others. We tend to want more and more and easily become envious when we see others succeed or receive blessings that we do not have. For example, if someone is more popular than us on social media, or drives a nicer car, or has a bigger home, or goes on an expensive vacation, we often tend to notice with a sort of sorrow that we do not have what they do. And that is envy. The cure for envy is wholehearted generosity. Not just generosity with our money but generosity with our affections and our ability to rejoice in the blessings that others receive. For example, if someone were to tell you that they were going on a nice vacation next month to a place you always wanted to go, how would you react? You might jokingly say, wow, I'm jealous. Jealousy can quickly turn into envy, which is a form of sorrow over the blessings another has that you do not. And that sorrow over the blessings of another can subsequently turn to anger. These workers in the vineyard who worked all day and received the same amount as those who worked only one hour could have responded by congratulating the later workers and could have even jokingly said, lucky you, I wish I would have shown up at five o'clock. But instead, they grumbled and tried to interfere with the generosity of the landowner saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. Again, this is envy, in that their sorrow over the generosity of the landowner led them to try to interfere with the blessing the others received. Whenever you notice this form of unholy sorrow within you, take notice. It means that you lack a selfless generosity toward others. And if you see God blessing another in spiritual riches, try to generously rejoice in that. Offer praise and thanks to God for his goodness. Don't dwell on yourself and dismiss every temptation to compare. In many ways, every one of us is represented by those who worked only one hour and received the full daily wage. This is because we could never earn the grace of salvation. The one and only reason we are able to receive the gift of eternal salvation and every other grace given to us by God is because God is infinitely generous. Therefore, the goodness and generosity of God must be our constant focus, and we must rejoice in that generosity when it is given to us and when it is also given to others. Reflect, today, upon any tendency you have toward envy. Think about the blessings that others have been given that you have not. Sincerely look at your interior reaction to that and pray that God will grant you the gift of being able to be generous in your rejoicing in those blessings. Every blessing given by God must be the cause of our joy, 
no matter if those blessings are bestowed upon us or upon others. Let us pray. My most generous Lord, you bestow your blessings upon all in superabundance. When I witness the ways that others are blessed by you, help me to foster a sincere gratitude for all that they have received. Help me truly rejoice in the many ways you bless all your people. Free me from envy, dear Lord, so that I am not burdened down by that ugly sin. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.